All right, we are going to turn to Kimberly Eaton now live with more on the concerns about local flooding in the wake of Hurricane Florence. Kimberly? And Mary, right behind us here, this is one of the roads right on the water that could be washed out of Hurricane Florence, dumps a lot of rain on us. So before that happens, first responders are doing things to get ready, like staging boats around the county, trying to stay one step ahead of possible flooding. Outside, it's the call before the storm. Inside, it's the chaos of gearing up for an unpredictable weather pattern about to hit Baltimore County. The now Category 2 Hurricane Florence is slamming the Carolinas and spinning Maryland into what may be days of storms. So these things come up in a hurry and we need to be prepared. For a potential domino effect of disaster. County leaders say rain and wind could push water into streets and homes, bring down trees, and with them, power lines. Especially with the ground saturated and storm drains already taxed by a soggy summer. I'm really worried if the winds start getting up there, uh, whether or not the root structure of these trees down here can handle it, because the ground's just so darn soaked. While the pavement is still dry, Chief John Hines says firefighters are staging for a possible surge of water, lining up gear and scattering boats around the county. It doesn't take much to float one of these normal cars float away. And they saw just that back in 2003 when Hurricane Isabel drowned Bowley's Quarter under 10 feet of water. Even as the latest storm shifts away from doing that kind of damage, County Executive Don Moeller isn't writing off Florence quite yet. Please don't take this for granted. We need to be ready. We will be ready as a county to respond, and we need and ask every citizen to do their part to be ready as well. And they say to do that, have a plan in place for both you and your pets, and make sure your medications are stocked before the storms start. Reporting live in Baltimore County, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.